Meanwhile, following Nigeria's exits from recession with the growth of 0.11 in the fourth quarter of 2020, the presidency says it's committed to improving the non-oil sector just as manufacturers are lamenting the rationing of foreign exchange. Justin Akadoni brings us details in this report. It is no longer news that Nigeria, Africa's largest economy, against all expectations, exited a recession as its gross domestic product GDP grew by 0.11% in the last quarter of 2020, year on year. Despite these surprise exits, experts have still expressed their reservations about the country's weak economy, which is faced with several challenges for businesses, including high food inflation, insecurity and foreign exchange pressure. On PLOS TV Africa's show, The Breakfast, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Public Affairs, Ajuri Ingalali, and other experts share sentiment about being out of the woods. We recognize that this was noteworthy, a very important first step in the right direction, uh, but our focus has immediately turned uh, to multiplying that growth. We have uh, been able to shake off the to a reasonable extent the impact of the first wave of COVID-19, which severely limited business during the year 2020. It also means that some of the government uh, efforts to uh, revive the economy has worked. As experts agree that diversification has taken place, incomes are yet to accrue. This is just as the manufacturing sector laments the effect of forex rationing and its impact on national growth. What we seek in the sector is Forex to be able to import those raw materials that are not locally available, those machines that are not locally fabricated, and those pairs that we need to replace uh, the parts of imported uh, machines. Uh, to be able to make uh, life easier for our manufacturers, etc. Already you've seen the kinds of support that we provided over the last uh, six to six to nine months, we've already provided 1.1 trillion naira uh, to, to, to manufacturing uh, uh, firms uh, across the country. The agriculture sector grew at 3.42% in the period under review, but there is the need to tackle the issue of security, which has caused galloping food inflation pegged at 21%. Even if the Nigerian army gets it 100% right, as long as these people have places where they can do hit and run and go back across the border where they will gather and plan and all of that, we're going to continue to have problems. So it's going to take everybody in the sub-region uh, to deal effectively with these issues. The investment in agriculture has been tremendous. The result has been, has been tremendous. I don't know why people are saying they're not seeing. Uh, if today you look at the, 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 the entire uh, uh, agricultural spectrum, you will see that uh, a lot of uh, people have gone back to the farms. A breakdown of the GDP growth rate in terms of contribution reveals agriculture grew 3.4%, industries contracted 7.3%, and services grew by 1.31%, respectively. Justin Akadonye, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.